Welcome back to CNCM Lectures. Today, I will present a lecture on Chord Bash. So first of all, what is Chord Bash? Chord Bash is the best method of solving any problem in maths. It, so you put a figure in geometry on the coordinate plane, or, aka the Cartesian plane, and it's the first method you approach the geometry problem with. Even before, like, trig bash and stuff. Okay, so what is it good at? So, uh, here, here, these are some hints that you want to do chord bash on a problem. If there's lots of right angles, if, th if there's mostly lines and points, if you need to compute an area, if you need to find a distance, and if you need to find lots of intersections, it's still easy in algebra. And if it's already on the Cartesian plane, you don't want to move it. But unless, like, in cer unless in certain cases, you don't really want circles or non -right, a lot of non-right angles to be in the problem. So here are some formulas. This is the Shoelace Theorem. More explanation of the name later. So the area between these, when they're in order... The points x1, y1, x2, y2, all the way to x and y n, if they're in either clockwise or counterclockwise order, can be given by the formula of sigma from i to n, x i y i plus 1 minus um, x i plus 1 y i over 2, the absolute value of that, where x n plus 1 n equals x1, and y n plus 1 equals y1. So this is the distance between a point and a line theorem. So, but this is one of the few theorems that you need standard form for. I won't read that. This is the formula of a line th from two points. It's basically just saying that the slopes are the same. And this is the formula for a distance between two points. It's very basic. So this is why it's called the shoelace theorem so you have th these points so you connect them like this and that and then these you sum all of these and then you draw the other lines like this and you connect add all of these and you subtract one from the other it looks just like a shoelaces which is why it's called the shoelace theorem that's an explanation, and so here's the first example. What is the area of the shape bounded by the points negative 2, negative 9, negative 6, negative 7, negative 5, 4, negative 3, 8, 9, 8, 10, 0, not, and 9, negative 2? So here's a diagram. And so we use the shoelace theorem, and we arrive at this sum, which is equal to 204. You can compute that by hand or use a calculator. Oh, also, they have to be convex, I believe, the shape. Okay, here's a second example. So this is, let A, B, C, D be a square with side length 4. Consider points P and Q on segments A, B, and B, C respectively, with B, P equals 3 and B, Q equals 1. Let R be the intersection of A, Q, and D, P. Find B, R squared. This is from the OMO Online Math Open 2019 Spring, the seventh problem. So here's a diagram. And we put it on the coordinate plane already. So first, let A be the origin. Because why not? So then let P equal 0, 1. It could be 1, 0 either. Also, B then B equals 0, 4. Q equals 1, 4. C equals 4, 4. And D equals 4, 0. So the line equation for DP is Y equals 1 minus X over 4. And the equation for AQ is Y equals 4X. So if there, if the intersection you want to solve, so y is equal, you set the equations equal to each other, and you find that 17x over 4 is equal to 1, so x is 4 seventeenths, which means you can plug it back into any of the equations and get y equals 16 over 17. So the point r has the coordinates 4 seventeenths, 16 seventeenths. So br squared, you use distance formula squared, so you get 4 17 squared times um, 68 minus 16, 
That's 52. 17th squared. That's 680 over 289. And you can cancel the 17 on the top and the bottom get 40 over 17. Third example, quadrilateral ABCD satisfies angle ABC equals angle ACD equals 90 degrees, AC equals 20, and CD equals 30. Diagonals AB, AC and BD intersect at point E, and A equals 5. What is the area of quadrilateral ABCD? 20, 20, this is from the 2020 AMC 10A, 20th problem. Here's a diagram. Ignore the part where I said you want to avoid circles because this is a very simple circle formula as it goes to the origin and has the center on an, ax on an axis. So, yeah. So, let C equals 0, 0 because there's a right angle through it and you know all, most of the lines through it. So, that let A equals 0, 20. It could be 20, 0 also. Then... D is 30, 0, and E is 0, 15. Since a angle ABC is 90 degrees, then B is on the circle that goes th with diameter AC. And that circle has equation X squared plus Y minus 10 squared is equal to 100. And the line ED, since it also goes through B, so it's also the line BD, and the equation is y equals 15 minus x equal over 2. So you plug it in, you plug the second equation into the first equation to get that this formula. So x squared plus 25 minus 5x plus x squared over 4 is equal to 100. Then you simplify and cancel the 5s and stuff. So you get x squared minus 4x minus 60 equals 0. So x is either 10 or negative 6. And from the um, from the drawing, you can clearly see that B is on the other side of, um, D, of, of line AC. So, 10 is obviously wrong. So, you just get that X is negative 6. So, Y is 18. And we use the Shoelace Theorem again to find that A, the area of ABCD is... 360. This is the fourth problem. Let L be the line with slope 512 that contains the point A, 24, negative 1. And let M be the line perpendicular to line L that contains the point B, 5, 6. The original coordinate axes are erased and line L made the x axis and line M the y axis. In the new chord system, A is on the positive x axis and B is on the positive y axis. The point P with chords negative 14, 27 in the original system has coordinates A, alpha, beta, and the new coordinate system find, find alpha plus beta. So here's a diagram. So using point slope form or the other, f yeah, point slope form because you know the slope. You get the equation of line L is 5x minus 12y minus 132 equals 0. You want it in standard form because you need to find the distance. And similarly, since the slope of M is negative 12 fifths, because perpendicular um, lines have it's called, have slopes that multiply to negative 1, so you get that line M has equation 12x plus 5y equals 90. So you point the line formula. The distance from P to L and M is 526 thirteenths and 123 th over 13 because um, they have to be right angles. And finally, so we gra graph this, and it's easy to sh see that P is in quadrant 2 of the new coordinate system. So the coordinates of P are negative 123 over 13, 526 over 13. So we add these chords together to get 526 minus 123 over 13, which is equal to 4 over 3 over 13, which is equal to 31. If you enjoyed this member lecture, be sure check the description of, for the link to join the server where you can meet more passionate math students. This is the, also this is the first ever member lecture.